Hi everybody, I'm Marcus. And I'm Leticia. And this is your marriage tip for today. Today's marriage tip is keep folk at your business. Now, let's define folk. Anybody you didn't marry is classified as folk. If they're not wearing the ring, they're not authorized to be in your marriage. And they're not authorized for you to be giving your business out freely. Okay, let's go ahead and clear one thing up because I know people are probably thinking, what do you mean we can't, you know, talk to anybody about what's going on in our relationship? I think everyone should have, you know, at least one person that, you know, they could talk to about, you know, problems that they may be having in their marriage. Right. But the thing is with that, um, you're not going to talk to that person or tell that person things that, you know, you wouldn't say to your spouse. Right. It's, it's, it's dishonorable. You just don't do that. Mm -hmm. So, um, the first reason that you want to keep people out of your marriage is because, number one, you didn't marry them. You know, so you're not obligated to, to give out information about your marriage, um, intimate details about your marriage, just because people are inquisitive. Mm -hmm. And that would include family, that would include friends, or whoever. Just because people are inquisitive doesn't mean that you are obligated to spill your guts about the marriage. Someone says, well, how are things going on with you and such and such? You know, just say, well, things are going great. You know, we're enjoying ourselves and that's just it. Don't feel the need to say, well, you know, the other day they did that. No, nope, you don't owe them anything. Right. You and didn't just, marry them. Right. And like just because you're having a bad day or something. Yeah. And, you know, you have all these different kind of emotions just build up and mm -hmm. you just want to, you know, vomit on a first person that asks you know, right i just gotta tell them and... yeah you don't you don't you don't do that because yeah. i mean like at that moment like once you get all that stuff out you might feel a little better but in the long run it's gonna come back and kick, kick you in the butt right and it, truth be told if you feel the need to vent about somebody in most cases 99.999 percent of the time you haven't talked to that person so if I feel the need to vent to my mom about Letitia, it's because I haven't really talked to Letitia the way I need to. Mm -hmm. And then most of the time, too, it's, it's a misunderstanding. Yeah. The second reason that you probably want to keep people out of your marriage is because they don't have the solution. Right. I can't tell you how many people that I have met, married folk now, that go to single people for marriage advice. Yeah. That's like getting real estate advice from a homeless person. <laughs> Um, the Bible says that that a, a, a three link cord, you know, is not easily broken. You know, so uh, put that in, in the in the confines of marriage. It's you, your spouse, and God. Jesus said, "Wherever two of you are gathered together in my name, I'm there in the midst." Well, there are three people there in that marriage. There are three people in this covenant, and only those three people need to be privy to the intimate details of the marriage. Don't go start adding people because they don't have your answer. They right. can't help you. And if you know, if he wanted it, like, four or five people, he would have said that, right? He would have said that. He would have said, okay, wherever you, your spouse, your mother-in-law, your your your, your, your father-in-law, because after sister. all, he got the money and you don't, and your sister, because she knows friend. your best friend, and your, all your sorority sisters. Oh, stop that. That's foolishness. No, you, your spouse, and God, period. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, practical ways that you can you can basically keep people out of your marriage or out of your business is, number one, stop telling them everything. That's the biggest way. And a lot of people are shocked uh, when people are all up in their business and, and they're like, you know, well, you all up in my business, all up in my business. The only way somebody can be in your business is if you tell them your business. Put Take, take the open sign down. How do I do that? Number one, by stop putting all your business on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and everything else. And number two, close your mouth. Close your mouth. Staple it. <laughs> Let me staple it. <laughs> Just stop it. Stop all that foolishness. No, it's case in point. We said it before. If you're feeling the need to vent to somebody else, it's because you haven't talked to the people that can really help you. Number one being God. Number right. two, your spouse. Yeah, I was just about to say that. If you feel like you have to vent and you're not ready to talk to your spouse about, you know, situation right then, vent to God. Vent to God. He'll listen and he won't spread your business. He won't talk bad about you. And trust me, the advice that he gives will actually work. It will help, right. So then number two, number two thing that you can do to keep people out of your marriage is make sure that you don't discuss things with other people that you don't discuss with your spouse. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, my friends know this, our church knows this, you don't bring anything to me that you don't want my wife to know because I don't do secrets, period. Mm -hmm. You know, we're a unit. When we got married, we became one. 
So there's nothing that I feel the need to keep from her, whether it's about me or about anybody else. So if you don't want me to know it, if you don't want her to know it, don't tell me. And if you don't want me to know it, don't tell her. And then the last one here, number three, which is probably, I would venture to say, probably one of the most important, is to make sure that you stand up for your spouse. Mm -hmm. You know, In their presence and even when they're not in your presence. Yes, in their presence and out of their presence. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of times, you know, and I'm not trying to give in-laws a bad rap, but sometimes in-laws are not so bold to talk down about your spouse in their presence. But they'll wait till you get on the phone and you call them or y'all are out to lunch to kind of just subtly slip some things in there. No, just stop the flow of it. You as the spouse, stop that and say, you know, no, you're not going to talk about them that way. Speak up for them. Speak well of your spouse in front of them. Don't open the door by complaining about, you know, how she hangs her bra on the door and you can't she, stand it. You know, don't even open the... Now, she doesn't hang her bra on the door. That's not her thing. Yeah, I, don't, she puts, I don't know who does that. Yeah, she puts it elsewhere. But... I put it... Yeah. Let's go on. Okay, so but, you, you just don't you, 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 you don't you don't do that. You don't even open the door to that. You telling them that gave them permission to voice their opinion. If you don't tell them, they have no permission to voice anything. So just mm -hmm. stop it. Find something else to talk about. Right. Don't complain. Mm -hmm. So I hope this has helped you, you know, why it's important to keep people out of your relationship. These ways may seem real small. But trust me, if you put them into practice over the next couple of weeks, you will notice a change in your marriage. The first thing is that you'll, you'll develop a greater respect for your spouse and the bond will be strengthened. You know, the bond is strengthened uh, just as much by what you do in their presence as what you do out of their presence. Mm -hmm. So it's a great tip today. If you like this video, be sure to check out our other videos on our channel. And also, um, if you want to follow us on social media, all of our information is listed in the description box below. All right, this has been your marriage tip for the day. Keep people out your business. Don't go. Watch another video. God bless you. We'll see you again soon. Bye.